back. Season two. Season two of Jaggedy Kids. Yes, with a twist. With a big twist. Yes, we in school. Your school. Yes, your school. So the spotlight will be in your school. Yes, schools in the spotlight. Schools in the spotlight on Jaggedy Kids. Yes, on Jaggedy Kids. Every Saturday. Yes, but a repeat on a Thursday evening. That's right, at 5 p.m. Nice Saturday morning and Thursday evening, Jaggedy Kids. So stay tuned. Yes, schools in the spotlight. Jaggedy Kids. Jaggedy Kids. Jaggedy Kids. Jaggedy Kids. Yeah. yeah. of the Mahbeen Hindu School. His pursuit was seen by community leaders Mr. Dindyal and Mr. Parashram, who then contributed a piece of land dedicated to the building of the school. The school opened its doors to Mahbeen residents on March 1, 1955, with a student population of 382 South of Seven, including the pioneer principal, Mr. Peter Gerwan. The original structure went through periods of transformation from time to time, all aimed at the making the environment more conducive for learning and teaching. A major renovation was done to the school in the 80s when the school went on a shift with the Mastering Presbyterian School. Throughout the years, our school has made meaningful contributions to the community of Mastering. Many prominent individuals in society were nurtured within its walls. Culturally, we have celebrated and continue to celebrate all major Hindu festivals as we seek to strengthen our dharma. The school also takes part in Valbitas, Red Cross, sports and other competitions, all aimed at the holistic development of the child. The school is viewed by community as a vehicle to promote high levels of discipline, academics, religion, and culture. Presently, under new administration, the entire school was repainted, tungsten was built, drainage was done, drinking shop was rebuilt, and also an administrative office was built. Our school continues to develop as we have the cooperation of all stakeholders in making our institution an environment that promotes effective teaching and meaningful learning. Religion and culture plays a significant role in the education process of our school. The school must strive to operate where both internal and external environments work in harmony to ensure school effectiveness. The dedication, commitment, and hard work of the principal and staff will certainly pave the path for the future success of our school. Where is Makhpi Hindu School? Makhpi Hindu School is located at 243 Old Southern Main Road, Makhpi Village, Gova. Here is a video starting at St. Mary's Junction, Freeport, and we are heading south. As we are driving by, we will see some familiar buildings. Here is Forest's Archer. As we drive, here is Regional Cathedral Learning Resort Center. Here is Miracles Ministry High School. Here's Marvin Mrs. Wall. Here 
is the Dios Hardware. And we arrived at Mappy Hindu School. Sitara, and my name is Ananta Singh. Sitara, I am Sarvi from Sivaya Maharaj, a student of Mappy Hindu School. I, I am with the Dharmacharya of Trinidad and Tobago, and he will share his experiences of Mappy Hindu School. I actually started at Macmillan Hindu School in March of 1955. That is when the school opened. Before that, I was a student at Freeport Hindu School. So, it was moving from Freeport to come to Macmillan Hindu School, which was next to our family home. I had actually seen the breaking of ground and the construction of Macbeth in the school. So I know about the school from the time that the Dindial family donated the main piece of land where the school is. And of course my father and mother, they donated the back piece um, where the part of the infant's class and the school's toilets and so on are, that piece. And, and I actually saw the entire construction and was very eager to start attending the school in March of 1955. Um, our principal then was Mr. Peter Gerwa and um, one of my brothers, Pandit Ram Sundar Parasram, also started his teaching career then at Macbean Hindu School. And the other teachers and the principal would often have lunch at our family home, so there was a very close relationship between members of staff and my family and I got to know all the teachers very very well. My father was the manager, the first manager of Macbeth Hindu School. You know he was also a pundit and he also took on the responsibility of being manager of the school at that time. My, it was my last year of primary schooling so um, it was fun time with some of my friends. The actual class, the exhibition class that I attended was just of four people. Um, Miss Sita Nanan, who became a teacher at Shilas, taught at Orange Field Hindu. Um, my friend, who is still a member of the Lower Macbeth Mandir, Mr. Mulishan Mahangu, um, who also taught for a little while at Waterloo Hindu School and um, Miss Deya Joko, who later became Mrs. Deya Kuar Singh, who now lives in Canada. So um, besides that, we had lots of friends. It was a small, close community almost, and everybody knew everybody. So it was fun time, and of course I was then preparing to go to high school. So um, as far as memories, they are only pleasant memories that I have about Macbean in the school. Because I live next to the school, I've seen the school evolve over the years, and over the years I got to know a number of teachers who taught there. I mentioned Mr. Kumar Singh, for example, and then the principal who succeeded Mr. Girwa, Mr. Sipol Maharaj. And um, I know the current principal and some members of staff very well. And I really want to congratulate the principal and staff on the excellent job that they're doing. And of course, I have a special place for the children of Magbin in the school, and I want to wish them all well, and that they hope that they do very well in their examinations and go on to bigger things in life. Jai Sitara. Thank you, and Sitara. My name is Anarta Singh. Pupil of the Mapping Hindu Primary School. I am here today with Mrs. Indira Dindia to conduct an interview on our family's affiliation with our school from inception to present. Mrs. Dindia, can you tell us how your family was instrumental in our school being built many years ago? Certainly I can, Anaya, but again, um, welcome. And my family was instrumental in the school being built by the land in which the school is built on was donated by Mr. Ramhit India, better known as Mr. Casey. 
Could you remember who was the first principal or any other members of staff at our school? Um, as I can, um, from my re recollection and knowledge, it was Mr. Peter Girova in 1st of March 1955. Would you say our school has evolved from then to now in what way? Uh, most certainly. Um, in those days, the school has evolved from being um, a shed with a galvanized wall into this big, beautiful concrete structure housing now more than over 300 students compared to when they have now opened, I think it was a little less than 100 students. Are you familiar? How would you describe your experience with our school thus far? My experience with your school thus far has been one of warmth, friendly, and um, very respectable, both from principal and teachers, and of course the students. It always is a pleasure for me to come and see those children and how well behaved and mannerly they are. I understand at present that your family plays an instrumental role in assisting pupils of the school. Can you tell us how and in what way? Um, one way is that I have made a commitment to give a financial grant to the top performing students at the C exam. And I do every year in July, I do a Christmas in July treat. So I extend invitation to the underprivileged children from the school that they come and they partake and have a beautiful, enjoyable day. It's like Christmas, as I say, Christmas in July. So, What made you offer this kind of gesture to the pupils? Um, it's really for the students to perform at their best, an incentive for them to perform and uh, the children's street is just for them to come out and have a great time, a good time, no headache, no stress, and just enjoy themselves. Can we look forward to your continued support? Yes, most certainly. Both the Dial Central Hardware and Triple E's Equipment Rental is committed in supporting uh, the McBean Hindu School in all their future endeavors. Thank you, Mrs. Dindial, for taking the time of your busy schedule to have this interview with me. It was a pleasure speaking to you, and may God continue to bless you and your family. Sit around. Sit around, and thank you very much, Mrs. Naya. You are very good at this. Sit around. My name is Adria Bedu. I'm a pupil of Standard Tree. Today, I will be introducing the wonderful people who make up the diligent staff of McBean S. Gamers Primary School. In order of seniority, the academic staff includes Mr. Donald Jump Mohan, Mr. Ashford Sukdev, Mr. Sham Ram Swak, Mrs. Baloti Wagunat. Mrs. Beverly Bagwandin Mrs. Naya Barat Ms. Carol Ram Charita Mr. Akash Kisun Mrs. Sarita Bodhu Mrs. Sherry Maharaj Mrs. Omar Sipasad Mrs. Sir Graham Dale Mrs. Marissa Mohammed Ms. Vivika Sulachan Ms. Stephanie Sitaram Ms. Josan Samaro The BOA Ms. Marishma Chandu The OJT Ms. Natasha Kassad Celery staff, Mr. Andy Kaulesa, Mrs. Kalawati Dehrad Singh, Mrs. Roma Ramdas, last but not least, Mr. Siva Kumau, and Mr. Spamati Kumau. These are the people who make up Mark Bean School, a school which I am proud to be a student. 
Sitam. Pal Vikas is the brilliant child of the late Secretary General of the Mahasabha and is an integral part of all Mahasabha schools. Teachers and students alike look forward to this annual competition. Here at Makmin Hindu School, our teachers approach Pal Vikas with a level of seriousness. Which would explain the success our school has had at the competition in the past. The items are taught to the whole school from as early as September. And after that, then our choir is chosen. Our teachers believe that Baldicas is about teaching us for the future and not just about learning for a competition. Our teachers do most of the training themselves and rely on very little external help except to hire musicians. I personally love Balbikas. It has taught me Hindi about the Rama. I have learned the Lakshmi Chalisa, the Hanuman Chalisa, various bhajans, and I can also sing wedding songs and songs for Bharat. As a young child, I can even chant verses of Gita in Sanskrit. Let's take a listen to a past pupil as he shares his experiences in performing at Valdikas. Sitaram, I am Christian Rohit Samuel. I attended the Macbain Hindu School where I participated in Valdikas. I started at the tender age of six and performed throughout all my years in primary school. I thoroughly enjoyed taking part in almost all the categories such as singing, instrumental and even dancing categories. Even though it was a competition, I enjoyed seeing the performances from all the different schools around the country. And I even made friends from some of these schools and I always looked forward to seeing them every year. Alvikas helped me to gain confidence and self-esteem. It has groomed me to become a better individual and impacted on me now into moving into the direction of a musical career and even a dancing career. Sit down. Thank you. Thanks very much, Christian. I remember you singing and dancing here at Madbin Hindu School. Our teachers work very diligently to ensure we look our best and sound our best for Bhakti Girls. I would like to share with you now a few pictures, and there are even some behind the scene ones. These pictures were all taken for Bhakti Girls' performances within the last 10 years. Hope you guys enjoy looking at them. Thanks for spending a little time with me. See you tomorrow.
Quartal Rosa. Diwali is the festival of light. Good over evil and the story of Lord Rama. Oka take we go to the sea and take a holy bath. Christmas tree at school. The best time of the year. Santa comes into my school in this big truck right here.
over the evil king. It also tells of his wife, Sita, being abducted by the ten-headed demon Rawan. With the aid of Hanuman and his monkey army, Ram besieges Rawan's kingdom and after extraordinary battle, the evil king was destroyed and beautiful Sita rescued. Ramnila demonstrates the themes, the triumph of good over evil and the importance of faith and courage. At the Malqueen Hindu school, there's Praya to Diwali and Exit is taken from the Ramayan. Kids are then chosen from each level of the school to represent in this religious event. These amateur actors are trained by teachers of the school to dramatize the various scenes. Kids are beautifully dressed as gods and goddesses. Sages, monkeys and forest dwellers. All teachers participate spontaneously taking part in a variety of related activities such as mask and costume making, preparing makeup and assisting with background music and and props. After all the preparations are done, on the days of Ramila, kids and parents of the school are invited to view the religious event. Ramila is an important part of our culture as it is enacted to impart certain social and religious learning. Thank you very much and Sitara. sporting activities into our curriculum to ensure the holistic development of us, the pupils. Physical education is always done in our class, even now during online classes. Physical education is done virtually. My teachers believe that participating in sports at an early age offers several benefits that extend well beyond the physical aspect of regular exercise. The social benefit of sports participation provides a perfect environment for hands-on learning and social interaction with. It teaches us about leadership, teamwork, patience and friendly competition. 
Throughout the years, my school has annually taken part in the Summer Dharma Maha Sabha School Sports. The pupils have participated in the track of and field event and the match pass. In 2019, our school had its first annual sports and family day. It was a fun-filled, exciting event. I enjoyed it tremendously. Scouting has been acclaimed as a worldwide youth movement with the stated aim of supporting young people in their development to play constructive roles in society. The movement employs the Scout Method, a program of informal education with an emphasis on practical outdoor activities. The Scout Method is the main procedure by which the scouting organizations, boys and girls, operate their units. The World Organization of the Scout Movement describes scouting as a voluntary, non-political educational movement for young people open to all without distinction of origin, race or creed in accordance with the purpose, principles and method conceived by the founder. The goal of scouting is to contribute to the development of young people in achieving their full physical, intellectual, social and spiritual potential as individuals, as responsible citizens and as members of their local, national and international communities. Here at Macbean Hindu, we are well invested in the Scouts program. We initiate and encourage the younger ones to join and become a part of the Scouting community and train them to become an exceptional Scout. We occasionally did sessions where we were taught how to tie knots, survival skills, first aid and express our creativity and experience the wider world. Every year we would make the trek down to South Trinidad where we were involved in the Indian Arrival Day Walk. We do look forward every year to contribute in the Indian Arrival Day Walk where we promote our Indian culture. I would like to thank the SDMS for allowing us to have this great opportunity each year. I address you today as a proud youth Red Cross member of the McQueen SCMS Primary School. Our link is Orchid number 250. Mrs. Balmati Ganesh Raghunath has been surfing at our Red Cross patron and liaison for the past 28 years. A brief history about the Red Cross. The International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement in Defense in its international and national capacity to prevent and alleviate human suffering. Henry Dunant, the founder, born in Geneva, Switzerland, was moved by the appalling conditions of 40,000 soldiers wounded in the Battle of Solferino in 1859. He proposed that every country should create a private relief society which will go right into the battlefield to alleviate the suffering caused by the lack of medical services. Later, in Geneva, along with four other activists that shared his belief, he founded the International Committee for the Relief of the Wounded, which later became the International Red Cross in 1863. The Red Cross in Trinidad and Tobago was founded on the 12th of July, 1929. Later, on the 8th of August, 1963, the National Red Cross of Trinidad and Tobago became part of the International Red Cross. Junior Red Cross The first Junior Red Cross link in Trinidad was organized in San Fernando in 1944 by Mrs. Marion E. Walsh. Since, 
the youth members of the Red Cross practice the healthy rules of living. They express their empathy for the sick and suffering people around the world. We, the youth members, take pride in serving a cause which makes no discrimination as to nationality, race, religious beliefs, class, or, or political opinions as we promote and strengthen international understanding of our fundamental principles. The tenets of our foundation lie in the strength of seven fundamental principles. These are humanity, impartiality, neutrality, voluntary service, independence, unity, and universality. And our motto, Save One Another, reinforces this. There are eight educational districts involved in Red Cross. McBean SMS Primary is a part of County Karani District. Throughout the years, we as a school participate in a myriad of activities and competitions held by the Red Cross, both at district and national levels. Under the patronage of Mrs. Balmati in 2003, our school coveted an esteemed first place in the county currently in the Red Cross competition. We also placed second and third in district levels in the years to follow. We joyfully and enthusiastically attend our annual chain gathering and enrollment ceremony, Founders Day, a church service, and the fun day at school. Red Cross meetings are held weekly. Hampers and prizes are given up for the Valley and Christmas festivities. The patron of our school also orchestrated donations of tablets and hampers to students and families in need as a part of COVID-19 relief. Those are only some of the many activities that the Red Cross link of the McBean SMS primary, primary conducts every year. This year, our youth Red Cross members attended a virtual gathering hosted by County Carney on May the 18th, 2021. Our students also attended a virtual camp from July 5th to July 9th, 2021. Every year in October throughout the country, the Red Cross acknowledges Youth Awareness Week, which the Red Cross link of our school plays an integral part in the celebration. This year, as a part of the Youth Awareness Initiative, I am certainly honored to highlight the Red Cross as we work together as members of the Youth Red Cross to serve one another. Tara. I would like to be a Red like Cross member. I would like to be a Red, Red Cross, Cross member. Tara, my name is Kelly Chunyan and I am a standard four pupil of the MacBeat SDMS Primary School. COVID-19 entered our country and our lives in the year 2019. As a result, all schools were closed and every child in every household had to be engaged in online learning. COVID-19 has caused many families to suffer major setbacks, such as loss of jobs and income, no devices for kids to go online, and so much more. We, the Max Bean SDMS Primary School family, which comprise of the principal, staff, parents, and well wishers, decided to embark on a COVID-19 relief drive. Through this drive, assistance was given to many families. Many students were without devices. With the assistance of the SDMS board, corporate sponsors, and donations received, we were able to provide and distribute numerous devices to these students so that they could have the advantage of being able to gain access to online learning. Food hampers were also made and distributed to families of our school on various locations to assist them in whatever way possible. As we say, a little goes a long way. This pandemic has caused many families to suffer losses in some way or the other, as all of us have been affected by it. We here at McQueen as Danish Primary have shown what true unity is, as we came together and became our neighbors' speakers, trying to bring some form of relief to them during this time of need. We pray that we get through this pandemic soon. 
where we could all return to some sort of normalcy with our everyday lives. Also, to be able to enter our classrooms physically once again and continue with our valuable education. Sitaram and long live Sanatan Dharma. Sitaram, my name is Gabriel. Do some online learning makes you like a tedious and boring way to learn. Our teachers did not just do truth and talk, they engaged us in a lot of online discussions. Our attentions are always grasped by videos, songs, and interesting learning games and activities, ensuring that we fully understood the concept and lesson being taught by ourselves with our fun. Extracurricular activities and recent online learning also create new avenues for extracurricular activities. We will hear a tour. Hello, Mariana. My name is Vanessa Golden. I'm dressing online learning. It's only possible to have a lesson. Many times both students and teachers face tumbling blocks for the cast of the internet. Difficulty did not stop them from performing and getting the job done. No matter the problem, a solution is always found. Physical activity was not limited in online learning. My teacher used games in various subject areas to have us engage in actions which involve movement. Physical education is a subject. On my timetable works allow me to be occupied in various activities which involve moving around in my learning space. We also send videos to our teachers of us participating in physical activities. Hi, my name is Elijah. This from screen time. Um, our teachers are mapping. We will make sure that the students help obey some of the most important. Especially since Online learning was um, an adjustment to our soul. In short, we have breaks from screen time to rest our eyes and have a moment to relax before our next class. So that we do not feel burned out or pressured. Easy embracing online learning, but a school came together to ensure no child missed out in online learning by getting devices and internet for those in need, although we're not in a classroom. The teacher makes us feel welcome, safe, and learning gets done. The principal and teacher of Martin Hindu School made a class. This is my one. My name is Anaru Marshi. Learning in Math. Our teachers at Martin Hindu School met with our parents online to discuss our learning space. It was necessary to have a quiet, dedicated learning area at home to take part in our online classes. This allowed us to focus and participate in our online classes. A timetable was developed by our school to effectively manage our time for each class recess and lunch time. This schedule helped me to adapt to my new learning 
environment and on, on brief online learning. I was aware of the time and date for each class from my schedule.